these fields for annuals in the past. Right now we're planting them up uh, to get fruit trees in, uh, in what we call our alleys. Uh, so alongside the alleys you can see here we have kind of a string of fruit trees. We have some coconuts, we have some mangoes there. Uh, we have a string of also nitrogen fixing trees alongside that. And here you have another, you can see another. So this goes down in kind of layers. So the idea is to get nitrogen fixers in, replenish the nitrogen of the soil, uh, as well as have, um, we'll have madronio and other kind of crops that are providing a product for us, like fruit or wood to, for building. Uh, and in the meantime, as that grows up, we'll be able to put in uh, ruminants and, like cows and other animals that will come and eat all this brush for us and get the nutrients from the falling uh, fruits and move them from one section into the next alley, down into the next alley. And we have earthworks along as well uh, that trap, trap that nutrients and kind of stave off erosion. Um, so as the ruminants come in and they eat and clear the land, then we'll come back and we'll plant annual crops like sorghum or corn, um, rice. In the future, we'll be able to get meat from this as well as maybe milk, wood for building, firewood, as well as fruit, as well as um, you know a grain crop. Uh, and many other benefits. We're trying to give the least amount of input for the greatest amount of output. And by having animals, we can actually speed up that process and not have to do the work ourselves, but also provide a need that those animals already have, which is eating. Um, and so it's a way of stacking functions. And so this is a project that is that will be going on for many years. Uh, it's kind of each year it kind of matures and matures and uh, eventually once we get some animals in here uh, we'll, we'll be having uh, some, some great production in this small little area which is our alley cropping system. Having this alley cropping system is a model for uh, locals for basing their agricultural systems to increase productivity on their farm instead of having to rely as much on pesticides and herbicides and uh, microfinance loans that require them to actually purchase herbicides and pesticides as a, um, you know insurance on on that loan that they get so yeah basically the, the main idea was to create replicable systems uh, for the local populations in the area.